guys, it's Sarah and I am here with layout number six using my February hip kit and I am doing another page for Layla today. I recently had gone through um, my girl's scrapbooks and realized that I didn't have a ton um, for Layla for some reason. Like, I'm, I don't know what happened, but Kaylin has a lot more. I know she's a couple years older, but it was still kind of most recently I've been doing more of Kaylin's pages than Layla's, so I went through um, my iPhoto library and I printed a bunch of pictures for Layla that told good stories that I wanted to tell, so um, I'm kind of working, concentrating on her a little bit more. Uh, so this one is of her at Starbucks because she loves cake pops. I'm telling you, if she even sees the Starbucks logo, she's like, cake pops, I want to go get cake pops. <laughs> so uh, we do it quite a bit. Um, and I snapped this picture of her. This was actually after a doctor's appointment, I think right after she had her four-year shots. Uh, we went over to Starbucks and I got her a cake pop because she did really well. Um, so the background paper that I have there, the really large ombre pink, is from Pink Paisley along with that chevron. And then I am also using a couple of 6x6 papers from 6x6 paper pads that I pulled to use with this kit. Um, so those were from my stash. And the, those are from Print Shop and Amy Tangerine uh, Plus One. Um, so in order to bring all of these layers together, um, actually that one right there, the stripe, is from Crate Paper. That's a little scrap from something I used before. Uh, so to bring them all together, I am using some ink, Distress Ink, and Worn Lipstick. And I am just inking the edges of all the papers here. And that's going to kind of help them to go together, even though they're all from different lines and different patterns and all that good stuff. And this one goes together um, fairly quickly. I don't, I don't want to cover up a ton of that background paper because it's really pretty. So I just kind of uh, keep it a little bit simple on this one. And I'm doing just, I'm doing like an L-shape um, layout design here. And I am going to go ahead and do my title and I'm using these thickers which are called Fitzgerald and they're a really pretty aqua glitter. And I'm spelling out a really long title and it is This Girl Loves Cake Pops because she most definitely does. And I actually don't do any journaling on here either because I don't really need to journal the titles of everything I need to say. So <laughs> it's pretty obvious she loves cake pops. So... I just really like the way that it fits perfectly on that 6x6 paper there. I really like it, so I'm just trying to figure out my placing and where I want, where, um, how I want my layers to all sit. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting it stuck down. I'm going to try to stick it down without moving too much. I'm just going to get it straightened out here and just kind of put a little bit there, a little bit here. And then these two, I'm good. So I really love that chevron paper. It's so pretty. And it goes really well with the picture, too, because in the picture, like in the artwork in the background behind her head, there's like some yellows and blues, and um, they're kind of, it really kind of mimics the chevron paper. <laughs> so it kind of, it's a little bit perfect. I love it. I'm trying to decide if I want to um, matte the picture and I decide that I do so I'm going to go ahead and use it on here and um, I think I'm going to ink it. Do I ink it? Yes I do. So uh, that's why I cut it down first instead of putting the picture on it. And that paper is from Amy Tangerine and that came in the kit. Okay so I got the picture down there. And uh, I believe I'm going to go ahead and get my title down here in just a second. And I'm pulling some die cuts from Pink Paisley. This die cut pack came in the kit. So I'm just going to pull a couple things that kind of stick out to me. And uh, that one there says sorry. And then on the bottom it says hashtag not sorry. And I think that's hilarious. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of perfect to use on here. And then um, that one says fabulous, I think. And then uh, this is just a little ticket thing. It says date and time or something like that. I'm just going to use it for a little layering piece. All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my 
title down and I liked that I had this paper on top because it has lines on it so I can line it up and make sure it's all straight. I'm not the best at straight stuff so <laughs> especially journaling oh my gosh I cannot journal in a straight line to save my life but the lines help definitely. Just getting all these down. I love how tall and skinny these are. They're amazing. Might be my new favorite font. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my die cuts put down. Just adding some layers here and there. Uh, this little transparent die cut says C'est la vie. And then I'm going to use a couple of these cork hearts from Pink Paisley, which came in the kit as well. They're really pretty cork with some gold flecks in them. I'm doing one last uh, pass through the die cuts, and I decide I'm going to go ahead and use this floral tag. Um, it just adds a nice little subtle pattern in here without being too much since it's transparent. You just get a little peek of floral. And then I'm going to use these pink enamel dots as well. Those are from Simple Stories and those came in the kit. I think I use all of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I use them all up here, yep. And then that's gonna complete my layout. I'm really, really happy with it. I like how it's all concentrated kind of in the middle and you can still see the background paper there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will leave a link to the Hip Kit website in the description so you guys can go check them out if you haven't already. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.